right. Welcome everybody. First meeting in December. It is uh, 5 o'clock. We'll begin. I'll call the meeting to order. We have a uh, full complement of trustees, a full complement of road administrators, a full complement of uh, inspectors of all things. Oh. Fiscal officer controlling the finances this evening. An empty chair for an empty chair for a fire chief. So close, but no cigar. I'd entertain a minute. Or excuse me. I'd entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of November eighteenth, two thousand nineteen. I'll so move. I'll second that. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may, may we vote, please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I now entertain a motion to adopt special minutes, uh, or minutes of special meeting on uh, November 26, 2019. I move adoption of the special minute, minutes for the special meeting on the 26th. Okay. I'll second that. Is there any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I, I said everybody. Is Mark there? No. Yeah. Well, he's here to pay accounts. We just did the minutes. Yeah, we're voting on the minutes. Oh, Especially I'm sorry. Minutes. I thought we moved ahead. Uh, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> I took a vote on the minutes. I thought, okay. Well, it's it's the, the, I think he's raising a point of order whether someone who was not at the meeting can go to the minutes. No, I know. Well, I thought, I, for some reason, I thought we had already done that. We were moving on to the, okay. So never mind, Mark. <laughs> I'm not writing down yeah. your book. Let's move on to entertain a motion yeah. to approve the uh, payment okay. of bills in the amount of $37,098.39. No, $37, Broken down general fund, $3,259.15. Fire fund, $14,846.77. Cemetery fund, $4,306.60. EMS billing, $8,679.87. Road and bridge, $3,000. Um, $11.37. Capital project, $2,994.63. Is there a motion? Can I make that motion? You certainly may. Okay. I second. All right. There's a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding those? One little thing. Uh, is the money not in from USDA? For check that? today. They okay. said, yes, they said, they said by the fourth. the fourth, right? Yeah, so okay. it'll probably come in tomorrow. And then I have to, then we'll have to do another amendment to the permanent appropriations to get the money in there. Yeah. And, uh, and so, okay. so I'll, I'll, I might be reaching, you guys, reaching out to you guys instead of waiting two weeks to pay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I wish yeah. you would. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Crockett. Yes. Mr. Meacher. Yes. <clears throat> Could I? Just for the record, uh, get a, a rehash of how the USDA money, you know, what, what steps the we processes? Just yeah, so, so as to explain what sure. we were just grumbling sure. about. Uh, well, we get, we get invoices from our architect and some lawyers and so forth and so on that are outside of all the contractual work that's done through the, um, those kind of, those monies are submitted directly to um, the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Um, but the way the process works for those bills I just mentioned was that we pay the bills up front, then we have to wait for the, the checks to clear the bank, then we make copies of all that and submit it to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and then they review it all, and then they refund us. So it really delays payment. I mean, back to us because as it stands right now, there's I have outstanding um, invoices totally nearly a hundred thousand dollars to the uh, to architects, but I haven't got enough money there to. It should be coming this week. So at least pay for their invoice from October. But then you're going to have a whole month's delay because yeah, the it's just, yeah, it's a, it's a lengthy delay um, yeah. between at least guess, a month. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that might not be crystal right. clear, but. That explains it. Okay. So that's the, that's what that means. Okay. Let's move on to uh, correspondence for the period. Um, we have uh, a notice of cancellation for my bond. Oh, oh dear. 
but I think we're going to take care of that forthwith with the uh, resolution to yeah. start participating in the, what are the, name of that the faithful performance of duty. Faithful performance of duty. <laughs> We will be faithful. Uh, a um, newsletter from the Green County Council on Aging. An invoice. I'm not sure why. It's, I mean, I know why it's here, but this is an invoice for uh, Leisure Lawn. I don't know, but it's actually um, it's a service agreement. If you read, read on. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's not a bill. They were showing you kind of what what payments we've made in the past. Mm -hmm. The services. There's four different services they can provide. We we've, we've authorized two of them. And so that's what they're basically kind of showing you what we've done in the past up to this point, and um, it's a service agreement. It's not a, it actually isn't a, a pay. It's something we're supposed to pay. Okay. At this point, we have to sign the agreement first. See that on the very back there? Yep. And this is for the Glen Forest Cemetery. True. Yes. A um, Sunrise Cooperative Newsletter, a newsletter from the League of Women Voters, Greater Dayton, a uh, meeting announcement from uh, Melissa Howell over the regular meeting for the December 5th uh, Board of uh, Health Commissioner meeting, um, a fundraising letter from uh, a Green Memorial Green Medical Foundation. A newsletter from Otarma, an update. To, um, a newsletter from the Ohio Township Association for Happy Holidays and about being a grant up, up, update. PERS approval. Uh, I understand the work's got shot scheduled for the, um, for the annual conference uh, in. <coughs> beginning of February, I should say, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I think it is. And fund status, revenue status, and uh, preparation status for today. I think we missed just a couple. There was a, a Pontum software letter. Oh, yeah. They're, I think they want to raise the rates a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, just let me mention that, in case you didn't see it. I did see it, but raising it in how much? Um, uh, in a $75? No. Yeah, it wasn't real, it wasn't real big. Yeah. Um, what's the date for the uh, Ohio Township Association? The, the meeting? Uh, the oh, the, the annual oh, conference. We just the last. It might be in the newsletter. You just said it. Okay. You just said there was I believe it's. Yeah, I believe it's in here. Okay. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of the last week. March. No, January. January. Sometimes it rolls over into February, depending on. I must be thinking of the, some other thing that happened. Okay. This says February 5, 6, 7. Okay, so it's in the first week of February. Pardon me. Any other correspondence? Hearing none, let's move the fire department report. Hey! No fire department. <laughs> so that makes it easier. Uh, new firehouse report. Um, that's fairly easy. Um, I have pictures. Oh, <laughs> pictures. Do share them with the, with the On video. On phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, footers and foundations in, in, in the office section. Uh, uh, we've had uh, periodic testing of all the concrete that's gone in, and it's all, it's all passed. It's all passed its compression test. Um, I think what other tests that were lots of inspections for the rebar, but that's uh, that's not concrete. There wasn't any other concrete poured. Uh, the new drywalls are in for the most part. I think there's one to book up that's got to be done yet. Um, some of the some of the tiles in to feed that. Uh, and there's a semi in the back that's holding. Uh, looks like all the metal for the walls, all the framing. Trusses, or not trusses, but uh, uh, wall pieces. Um, so we're marching along. Uh, we're on schedule. We're on budget. We're also waiting for a updated proposal 
for the um, cast stone sections of the building, um, which were is this which the, were, the outside, mm -hmm. which were, were, were the uh, band around the bottom and the columns between the bay doors, uh, front and back, that originally were cast stone and then were value engineered out of the project in order to save money. And we had a meeting last Friday with the architect, both architect, or with the architect and the construction manager from WDC, uh, and reviewed a lot of brick uh, options. Uh, and Colin and Denny were there also, and uh, chose one, chose one combination of uh, a body, of a body, the Dilling brick, and, and the. Uh, the brick that has been used for the, for the base and the columns, and they are not here. Unfortunately, the architect took them back in order to um, make sure that he ordered the right ones. And I slept on it and woke up, and I was not happy with the selection of the brick. I just didn't like the look of it, and it, it wasn't what I think we were, we were sold. And so uh, I used my thinking cap and came up with the idea that the contractors all have to include an allowance in their bids. And the allowance is basically a little piggy bank that we get to use on our, uh, our own discretion. If you recall, we used Fillmore's allowance of eight or ten thousand dollars to, to um, use that limestone instead of the dirt for the, mm -hmm. for the base. We, we had to go into the contingency a little bit, but we did use that allowance. Mm -hmm. And it's some, it's some percentage, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but JCAR's allowance is about $65,000. Um, and we also still have the most recent contingency numbers, $271,000. And so I, uh, I asked uh, Dan Montgomery to, to go back and re-quote the cast stone as it was as it was originally estimated or projected or proposed or whatever the deal you call it. And he has not done that yet, but uh, he told us at the meeting that the cast stone would be about, eight, if we did it as a change order, it'd be about $22,000 more plus an 8% uh, commission, change order commission for the contractor. But if we use the allowance and or the contingency, we wouldn't have to pay the $8,000. So I mean, that would save a couple of grand, give or take. And uh, so we'll see if we can get back to the, to the look of the building that we wanted to have. So, uh, and personally, I still don't like the damn downspouts that are that come down between those cast stones. But I have to work on that. To work on that. So that's, huh? Yeah, I'd like to know you like to know. Uh, they, I, I think they break up the appearance of that column, that, that flat, you know, light column. In fact, yeah. they don't have it on the original proposal, and it came with the uh, revised proposal in a pencil drawing. And, uh, and I what, didn't really care for it there. See, the mark. There will be downspouts. Oh, I see. And I'm not sure how they get around the little brackets, but there's downspouts on every single one of these mm. columns. And then they, they, coming out they onto, them. they have them with color. They're going to color them. I mean, they can't hide them in through. Mm -hmm. and, then then the, and then they're going to dump out onto the pavement. No, there'll be a there'll be a hole in the pavement with a. Um, okay. So it's not going to be not going to be. Guaranteed ice. No, no. no. Um, but anyway, well, so what's the process for us? And we're talking sixty thousand no, dollars. Um, no, no, we're talking twenty two thousand. There's sixty available for things right. like so this okay. or things that you didn't have. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, because I've just I've said you know appearance I'll let I'll defer, but then when I hear big pieces of money <laughs> coming up uh, where we had already had consensus on uh, the uh, value, what was the phrase anyway? Yeah, scaling. value engineering. 
scaling back the cost. Um, uh, and I'm just. But let's call it. We scaled back too much. So we had a little more. If you recall, we scaled back to the point where we had what seven alternates. Yeah, you know, there was the mezzanine, and there was the this and the that. And the that. But we had enough money to go ahead and and have all those alternates funded in the different contractors. So it's it's like the glass in the door. We just you know we just said we had enough money to, to take that alternate where we had glass in the door in the front and glass in the door in the back. Um, right now, I can't pull up all the other alternates, but had we put in an alternate for the cast stone versus brick on the value of engineering, we could have gone that direction. But at that point when we were when we were back there, we thought we'll cut every nickel out of this thing that we can. Right. And, and so we have room to shift and make right. both using contingency for change order, but then you're saying there's this other category that we can draw on yeah. that's built in built into the contract. Yeah. Uh, by necessity. So there will be other, likely other things too. Likely, yeah. And so what's our process for making those? It will be, it will be a board decision mm -hmm. um, as to whether it's something we want to um, use those funds for. Now, do keep in mind that if we end up, if we end up a year from today or, you know, whenever and ready to move in the thing, and have still the two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars contingency. We can't spend it on anything, you know, n not building related. We could pro we could probably spend it on um, furniture and fixtures. Well, and then if we don't spend it, it's money that will be returned to USDA and will be taken off our bill, mm -hmm. our debt. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not positive we can return it to them because. You know, it was a $5.75 million, the mm -hmm. whole thing was, you know, done in, in, at that rate. So I'm not 100% not sure how that would work. You know, it could be that the county auditor would re reduce the tax collection by the amount that there will be in the surplus. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that I'm not positive about. Uh, well, then I would, uh, just thinking out loud, mm -hmm. that maybe we should have a uh, some kind of chart or um, listing of those two, both the contingency and the um, allowances. Oh, we have uh, that. So that as mm -hmm. as we pull on it, mm -hmm. and we don't like use it all up in the first three months. No, I I agree, and we do have that. Mm -hmm. we, um, well, I, I, I can I, see I'll that it's, I, I can see it's probably vivid in your mind anyway. It's not vivid in mine, and I'm just being talking. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll print it out. It's an Excel file, and it doesn't print well on a printer, but you can you can you can tape it together and, you know, mm -hmm. and run across the lines. But um, but that's that, I'd be happy to make that print that out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Transparent tape, so we can be financially transparent. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Anything else on the new firehouse? I was just going to exclaim, I watched, uh, this was next to our property, mm -hmm. what Phil Moore was doing for the village, mm -hmm. because of our changing mm -hmm. at the village's suggestion, mm -hmm. and they hit bedrock at the level they didn't expect. Mm -hmm. Similarly, the two French drains mm -hmm. aren't going to be as deep as, but apparently still fine. Mm -hmm. um, why didn't we know about the depth group when uh, Bowser, what, Bowser Moore, when they did their soil samples and boring, I would have thought they would have hit that. Well, they would have had they bored over there, mm -hmm. but where they bored, you know, it, it varied from 8 to 12 feet. You probably only bored under the footprint of the building. No, the old building. No, the new, no, the, uh, the new building. But not into the landscape or certainly not across the street or uh, along the edges. Anyway, so it's just a reminder of 
how many stories in this town do we have about like the Dayton Street sewer that was put in a plan and it turns out bedrock was only a couple feet down. Mm -hmm. Well, the trick, one of the things that happened there was that the samples that happened to get into what were called joints in the limestone, cracks in them. So the boring went down two feet deeper than the surface of the limestone, and it was all dirt. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard to do remote sensing. Well, that, that was just an exclamation. Okay, the only other thing that I, I want to bring up, um, I guess it's as much for Richard as it is for the general audience, is that the contractors uh, reminded us at our last meeting that they are transitioning from uh, the work site that we see into what they consider a hard hat zone. Yeah. And well, I've, I've talked with them about at that, that. At that time, they don't want members of the general public within the perimeter of the, of right. the, uh, of the project. I don't enter any time without their permission. Uh, so anyway. Uh, we we'll, we'll just put that out. Do they okay. fence it? Do they fence it off? No. No. Mm -hmm. They don't post it or anything? No. Nope. Well, maybe they will once they, they go into a, a hard hat uh, transition. I think they would. Well, the, the, the danger is when they're working. <laughs> when well, they're right, working. but I mean, yeah. you know, they, they have the, the, the surrounding area yeah. posted, they're not coming in. Right? Um, well, they have yellow tape where they've been digging down. I imagine they've got have enough experience to know what the oh, yeah. liability is, so to speak. Okay, anything else? Daniel? Oh. What do you know? I know we've had two burials since the last meeting. We have ashes and a full burial today. Hmm. You'll be yes, clear mm -hmm. You'll be getting a check from Conway if you don't have to be Yes. Um, you guys had a meeting, right? Something yes, like we had a Clifton Cemetery meeting. And we agreed to raise the base price to 60 cents a square inch? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we do the same for Glen Forest? Do you think we're going to be for it in Glen Forest? Yeah. Okay. That's all right. That yeah, we probably should. All right, I'll make a motion to uh, increase the base price of the Price of the base, not the base price, <laughs> to, to, from what's it, 55? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 to 60. To uh, 60 cents a square inch. I'll second. Motion to second. Any further discussion regarding that? Uh, hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. So, nevertheless, you said that I stood in the way of getting some money married. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't have much more. I want basic for them. Why? Because they said <laughs> we had a work order, mail in July. So I said I'll put it in. Is it done? No, it's done. So we're going to change things for next year. I'll draft something. I'll write something. Mm -hmm. Put some time frames on when I have to have them. Anything else after that would be. Uh, I still say, you know, make their make their work orders uh, registered so you have so to I sign for them, something. and so they kn they know that you've got a file that says. Because you know, they've called, you know, this is like number seven or yeah, eight. Yeah. They've called with going, oh, it's, you know, I don't have work order, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take care of that, and I'll probably into the trash can this week. <laughs> The yeah. That's all I have to say there. Roger got any uh, leaf? So? Well, he can find loaded. He's got a bunch to pick up. Yeah. He was in there one day. And, mm -hmm. yeah, his machine's not there. I didn't see it today. Mm -hmm. But he'll be back. Yeah. I'll call him if he's not. <laughs> yeah, we just wrote him a check. Yeah. This afternoon. I'll give him a call anyway. Um, okay. All right. Put your what it was well. Okay. Put your road man or yeah, road man hat. He's dear. 
Is he? Okay. So if he wanted to hunt all week, he could. So if not, mm -hmm. if I need. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be out there. It's going to be nice for us to week. Is it? Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny. Mm, all right. Uh, I'm going to pick the dump truck up tomorrow. That's right. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get today because it's better. So I'll run down the morning and get it. I'm going to probably pick up some gold patch. we got a few potholes, but that's all I need to do this week. I wonder where Miller gets that hot asphalt this time of year. I don't know. Most plants are shut down. I don't know where they're getting it from. Unless they're running out of Valley or maybe a little Fairboy. Uh, on Haddocks, whatever that is. Because they can't be using enough to really that's justify Barrett. it. Might be Barrett might still be wrong. I wonder if they ever sort of make deals where when we get enough people, we'll all tell you that on Tuesday you can come and pick up hot mix. Mm -hmm. Right, because they eat the tipple up, you know, you won't yeah. keep it hot every day, you know, when you're going around that. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, lunch at Hensley on Friday. Okay. Ms. Klopser? Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's to be boring, but we have another amendment to our permanent appropriations. <clears throat> I don't have that memorized yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I should change the wording just for fun. But for tonight, whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following permanent appropriations. The gas tax, I increased contracted services by $2,000. Um, that was just a reflection to the uh, stump removal um, on River Road. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get half of that back. Half of that back. Um, it was only $1,500, but anyway. Um, I, I, made, I made a copy of that. I will send it to Joe, so I'll take care of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know, he was, gonna, I didn't know he was going to. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, great. Um, <clears throat> road and bridge, uh, the garbage and trash removal, I needed an extra $51 to get us through the end of the year. Uh, the cemetery fund, I needed an extra $5 to pay the electric bill. I don't know what those people are doing over there, but... You're <laughs> 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 the electric... Anyway, I'm sorry. And the fire fund, um, increased electricity by $250, water and sewer by 103 and other employee benefits by $444.52. I have to say... That was not that. That wasn't necessarily necessary. But anyway, <laughs> it, necessary. my fingers are going too fast. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Um, okay. And then there will probably be another one before, you know, next week. Yeah, next next week. Maybe, maybe even in the in between. The new budget. It always happens at the end of the year. There's always something. So, um, I ask you to authorize the fiscal officer to do so immediately, please. Is there a motion to accept resolution number two thousand nineteen, whatever? 50. 50, I'm sorry. Is it 50? Yeah. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion regarding 2019-50? Mary Dunn, may we go please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Okay. And now we have another, um, this is 2019-49, and this is, um, oh, no, no, yeah, wait, and this is, um, uh, since we, I don't know if you guys got a chance to look at this, but this is, these are um, uh, two, a resolution to accepting the amounts of rates as determined by the Budget Commission. And this is basically a reflection of the levies and um, the bond, our bond retirement fund and the upcoming levy. Although, it, um, yeah, they have to just basically um, authorize the figures again, so. so. This is something we haven't seen yet. Uh, you know, we did one. We did one um, in September. You're welcome to look at it. We did one in September. It's just these, there's two figures in here. Um, but that was for like all the other, the road and um, the other property taxes, so forth. But this is just the, you know, the levies kind of day to day. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's what this is. I entertain a motion to accept uh, or to um, approve resolution 2019-49, accepting uh, amounts and rates for the county auditor. Is there a motion? Mark mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, I so move. There's a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any further discussion regarding 2019-49? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. <clears throat> While we're at it, um, is uh, Mark, Mark not be, might not be familiar, but um, this is the, an option presented by Otarma in lieu of bond, um, bonds that need to be acquired on the trustees and myself and Richard. Um, there's a new option called the Faithful Performance of Duty Coverage. And um, we can, like the trustees won't have to pay, it won't cost us anything to, to bond those, you guys, but it would cost some money, but they, that's to be determined apparently, something like that. Anyway, um, we need to pass this by resolution and send this back to them so that we can get Chris covered for his faithful performance. Starting on the 1st of January. Right. It's only for new elected officials, so yeah, it's not going to be Yeah, yeah, the bonds that are, yeah, other bonds are still, um, okay. what about, there's a long, long resolution you, here. You included Richard, and he's not elected, so, yeah, well, but we're, we, well, can we convert his bond? But we bond you every, every, uh, it's not months. very, yeah, it's, uh, it's not very often. <laughs> so I can't tell you how well. often we do it. Do you want me to read this, or? No, thank you. Good. I would entertain a motion to uh, approve resolution 2019-51. I so move. We have a motion. A we have a second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you're required to bond me, but I don't handle very much money. <laughs> in other words, even if I started to scon over a year, it would it'd take you a while. <laughs> you know, it would make a big difference. So, I mean, I'm just saying on a practical level, I'm not, I don't care one way or the other whether you buy a bomb. Well, I think because there are certain times that you actually do physically touch yeah, cash. No, I, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, it's just no, no, I, I know that there's a, as I say, if there's a process that says that's what you have on Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, if we limit the cash and not even the checks, mm -hmm. then we're really out of yeah. a small mm -hmm. amount of money. Is there anything else, uh, Ms. Sullivan? Um, no, not at the moment. Okay. Thank you. We'll move on to the zoning inspector report. Okay. <clears throat> um, since I last saw you, basically a month ago, I've issued two zoning permits. Um, James and Sharon Kingsolver are replacing the house that they're currently living in, uh, which is which is on part of the Arnovitz property that was that was sold at auction. Um, the new house is going to be in the same location as the old house. They're tearing that one down and building a new one, living somewhere else in the interim. Anyway, so that's not exactly a new house, but it's a significant improvement. But that's not the one that burned, right? That's no, the no. other one. That's the one behind it. The, huh. The property that they own actually has its frontage on Houston Road mm -hmm. with a long strip mm -hmm. going out there. But they use, by permission with the owner of the property whose house burnt down, mm -hmm. that access. And they're mm -hmm. right beyond yeah. that property. That's, that's where they are. Mm -hmm. um, the second permit was for Mark and Annette Spracklin at 33564 Forest Clifton. And they're having a home there. So, two new homes here towards the end of the year. Um, they were in a new home, a relatively new home. Ten-year-old, ten-year-old. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know the, the details, but I just is talked to the builder. I didn't talk to them. Richard, so. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Is it on um, this one? Oh. I got a email and it was sort of amazing because I got it just about at the same time it was written and it, it was from regional planning via Rhonda Painter indicating that, that FEMA was having a public hearing of which they hadn't told anybody. <laughs> anyway, and it was, it was too much at the last minute for me to go, but apparently they're sort of rolling out the latest floodplain maps and mm -hmm. how to interpret them, how to use them. Mm -hmm. I don't, and there, there may 
I don't know if this was a hearing on a legal basis, but it was a presentation. Anyway, um, mostly this doesn't have anything to do with the trustees, but it reminds me that I need to remind the zoning commission that we long time ago made the mistake of saying, of referencing the FEMA maps of, you know, 1972 right. or something. We should say the current FEMA map, and, and we need to make that, that change to the code, just a, a bookkeeping change. Yeah. Uh, Good idea. So we are up to date, because those, those maps do change. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, let's oh, and uh, the Zoning Commission did not meet for lack of a quorum uh, at their November meeting. And let's see. This one? Oh, um, they said I let what? Yes, set a date for December. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the third Tuesday of the month. So tomorrow's the first Tuesday to sixteenth mm -hmm. or seventeenth. 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 Okay. Oh, tomorrow's the third. Today's the second. Right. I still haven't got that quite locked in. On the 17th, yeah. Tuesday. The, um, I think I passed on the information to you all that that Agraria is applying for a Class 2 composting license from the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a, and I got a letter from them which triggered me looking up and seeing what a class two facility was, and in that it said that they were supposed to notify a bunch of bodies, including you guys. Mm -hmm. Did you did you get a, a letter from them? From who? Not separate from the letter that okay. Well, the one, they were supposed to notify both me and you. So anyway, are you talking about the agrarian? Yeah. Yeah, I think he did actually. Yeah, it's certified. I wonder where it went. It was I, on the table. It, it, just like, it just looked just like that. The only that one, one I saw was the one that... I, be, I believe, okay, I well, believe whatever. we received two. Yeah. What's, that's not so Regardless, important, but yeah. I just wanted to make sure that, that everybody knew. I Their cover letter didn't give much detail. It was, it was fairly vague. But the, if, if they apply and get this license, there's a wide margin in terms of the activities that they could be doing. Um, and so that's of concern in, in general. Not, as far as zoning is concerned, I did some research, did some checking with the prosecutor's office. Probably it's not considered an agricultural activity on the, on the way that they would be operating. So they can't do it as a principal, principally permitted activity. They would have to do it as a, as a I, I, under our code, I believe that they can do it as an agricultural service establishment. In other words, it is generating compost is an agricultural service, um, but that's a conditional use. Mm -hmm. and so at that time, it would be very clear what what they wanted to do, and, and that could be limited mm -hmm. by the the PCA when that when that all happens. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, I got a call from an engineering firm in Cincinnati who's been hired by Greene County to design an updated facility a water treatment plant for Clifton, sewage treatment plant. Oh, really? And he called me to say, um, you know, do, we kind of want to use up every square inch of that, that property, would there be any problem? And I said, no in terms of I don't think that there's any complication uh, that use doesn't have any setbacks mm -hmm. or whatever but when we the, the agricultural district was updated that kind of use was taken out so it's now uh, grandfathered in and in order for them to to enlarge the capacity of the facility, they're going to have to go to the BZA and get permission, mm -hmm. which the BZA can grant. Mm -hmm. And prob I don't see any reason that they won't. But that process will be taking place sometime. Mm -hmm. They're not, they don't have, they just have their conceptual plans, not their, their final plans. But that's in the works. Are they replacing or augmenting the backyard? They're, they're doing, they're pretty much replacing everything that's there with more state of the art and more capacity. Both. Uh, they currently out there have a 
trailer rather than a building where they, you know, do their their testing and sampling mm -hmm. and, and whatever, and there will be a building, and uh, there'll be a, a paved road coming in so that the, the loading and unloading of whatever has to be unloaded, loaded can be done. Just, I, I think that the it's not so much that the capacity is a problem, it's that it's a 30-year-old facility and it's just not up to present-day standards. I wonder if they can use the lines that are in the ground for... Well, there still will be the same lines coming in and out. I don't, well, I don't know all the details. I have from them, and I could only print it out fairly small, so it's almost magnifying glass looking at the, exist, the site plan of the existing, which pretty much says Everything gets torn out, and the site plan of the, the one that's coming. I thought the whole idea originally was they had to go to that vacuum system because half of the properties were uphill of the right. uh, of the uh, treatment. Yeah, I think so. They, and that's still that's the, that's still the collection that. system, not yeah. the treatment system. Okay, so they'll probably still use that. that oh yeah, they'll still be using. Okay, I got it. No, this is there is I don't well. I don't know for sure, but from a zoning standpoint, it would just be what was taking place on that piece of property. Mm -hmm. I know collection systems in the public right of way, and that's a whole different deal. Mm -hmm. But he didn't say that there were that there were going to be any changes to that. Mm -hmm. He just allowed us how there would be more capacity. I you know, I know that, that when Clifton originally put it in, it was sort of like, you know, if you're signed up for it, you get it, but if we're just building what we need. Yep. All right. And so I don't know if that will change yeah. the potential for having sewer in Clifton or not. When the, but as, as you pointed out, the collection system is the critical component mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're both are critical. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so yeah, that's that one, and that's 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 what's on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Anything else for Richard? Thank you. Um, one thing with zoning, uh, does the board wish to uh, make uh, an, an, our annual stipend to the planning, uh, the zoning commission members? Yes. What? Okay. <laughs> Mark, Mark says yes. Is there a second? Is that aware of? Remind me how much it is. 100 piece. I'll second it. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote please. And Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. And since I'm bonded, <laughs> I'll <send it> back. <laughs> um, I haven't looked it up. I know I can. But of course, somebody's term ends this year. Uh -huh. I, uh, you might just want to check with whoever it is and, and make sure they want to continue. Okay. Because. Uh, didn't we we don't you, get a quorum a lot of the time. <laughs> well, we checked with everybody last year. Didn't I know. We done? Yes. Yeah. And I, know, I mean, I'm just sort yeah. of reflecting on, well, it's one thing to say I want to serve, but it's another when you don't yeah. show up yeah. at the meetings. So that can, I mean, I, I, I take me a little bit of time to say, okay, here's what actually happened. Mm -hmm. and, you know, um, Brian is there at every meeting, but Brian is the only person that's there at every meeting. Mm -hmm. And the light, you know, we just just had a meeting with only two members. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, perhaps we should uh, we should do that. Or or think again about alternate possibilities. Yeah. We don't run into that situation where no progress is made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got enough of that. All right. Well, let's see. New business? Whole business? I guess we're only at the end of the we're only at the end of the year. I did not hear anything. Mark, I need to uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, hearing none, I'll move for an adjournment. Um, I'll go right along with that. <laughs> There's a motion. Uh, I'm sure there will be a second. Uh, a second. There we go. I'll I'll say aye, aye. Aye aye. Aye aye. aye. Yeah, 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 yeah.